Hey, welcome. It's Jeff with Armadillo Pepper, the hot sauce, barbecue sauce, jerky, and fiery snack store. Today, we're going to smoke some Cornish hens. We're going to wrap these guys in bacon. Um, it'll take about two hours. Each Cornish hen is around a, a pound to a pound and a quarter. Uh, we're going to smoke at 230 degrees. Uh, so what the process is, I've already got the smoker started. We're using cherry wood. I like to use a fruit wood uh, when I'm making chicken, uh, particularly Cornish hens, something light uh, that goes real nice with it. Uh, something like mesquite can tend to overpower a Cornish hen. Um, so what I did is, is, if you've seen any of our other videos, and we'll put a link here, I brined these Cornish hens first. Always brine chicken before you smoke it. Then you won't have to worry about it drying out. Uh, I just simply used a gallon of water, a cup of salt, and about two-thirds cup of brown sugar. I uh, put all that in a big stock pot, put a lid on it, stuck it in the refrigerator, and let it uh, sit in there for about four hours. Um, so I've got them out of the brine. What we're going to do now is I'm going to season them. Uh, what I'm using today is this Stubbs Chicken Spice Rub. Uh, it's a real nice uh, seasoning. It's not spicy. Uh, we've got uh, a couple you know, kids here today, and they don't care for the spice. So we're going to use the uh, ch uh, Stubbs chicken rub. And what I'm going to do is put that over each of the uh, Cornish hens. Then I'm going to drape some bacon over it. If we need to, we'll use a toothpick or something to hold the bacon on the uh, Cornish hens. And then we're going to slide them into the smoker. Okay, we're just going to season these guys up. Now, uh, just to let you know what I did again, we unpackage these. Uh, the Cornish hens usually don't come with any giblets in the center, but you want to look just to make sure. Rinse them off. Uh, as I mentioned, we soaked them in a brine. I took them out of the brine and then rinsed each Cornish hen off just to make sure that there's no excess salt on the outside. Now, I'm just going to season them up. Now, option here is you can also rub these in uh, olive oil if you'd like. Uh, but I really don't find a need to. This rub sticks pretty good to the Cornish hen. And I'll just put the seasoning on all four of them. And I'll show you I've got some bacon here. Now, you can slice the Cornish hen in half if you so desire and then wrap uh, the bacon. What I'm going to do today is just, uh, as you can see, just kind of wrap it around the entire chicken. This bacon's uh, fairly long. Now, not only will this bacon provide nice flavor to the Cornish hen, but the, as the fat renders, it'll also help to keep this Cornish hen moist during the smoking process. And you can see that each Cornish hen, you can get by with four pieces, but I've got plenty of bacon. So I'm just going to wrap a little extra here. All right, as you can see, we've got all of the Cornish hens wrapped in bacon. The next step is to put these guys in the smoker. As I mentioned earlier, we're using cherry wood, 230 degrees. I'm expecting about two hours. Uh, more importantly than the time is to make sure that each Cornish hen is at an internal temperature of 165 degrees. Okay, what we want to do is put the breast side up when we put them in the smoker. Um, that's what I find works best for me. Okay, we've got a good smoke going. And what I'm going to do is just put a couple on each rack. We've got plenty of space. Got 
temperature probe here. I'm just going to put it in the thick part of the, of the bread. All right. It's been an hour and a half. These guys actually uh, got done cooking a little bit quicker than I thought they would in the beginning. But I've checked all. Uh, actually, I've checked three of the four. They're all 165, 166. That's just where we want them to be. guys look great. And I'll try to get a picture of these for you, but uh, these things look beautiful. Nice golden color. The bacon looks awesome on them. I can't wait to try these. These are Cornish hens. Extremely simple to do. Now, obviously, you don't have to use the bacon. We love the bacon flavor with the Cornish hen. It also helps keep it moist during the smoking process. Again, my name is Jeff with Armadillo Pepper. Check us out over on Facebook or see what we're up to at armadillopepper.com.